Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Grid. I'm your host, Jet Royce, and today we're diving deep into one of the most controversial decisions in military aviation history. Why does America jealously guard the F-22 Raptor like it's the last slice of pizza at a Pentagon meeting? And more importantly, is this $350 million flying fortress still worth all the secrecy, or has the rest of the world caught up? Picture this. You've built the most advanced, most capable fighter jet in human history. It can outrun, outmaneuver, and outfight anything else in the sky. Your closest allies are literally begging you to sell it to them. Japan offered cash up front, Australia practically wrote blank checks, and even Israel said, take our money. But instead of making bank, what did America do? They said, nope, not happening and literally wrote it into federal law. The 1998 Department of Defense Appropriation Act contains language that reads, none of the funds made available in this act may be used to approve or license the sale of F-22 advanced tactical fighter to any foreign government. That's right, folks. Congress was so paranoid about this bird that they made it illegal to even discuss selling it. But why all this secrecy? What makes the F-22 so special that America would rather lose billions in export sales than share it? Let's break down the game-changing tech. The F-22's radar cross-section is estimated at just 0.0001 to 0.0005 square meters. That's literally the size of a bumblebee or a marble. To put that in perspective, a regular F-15 has an RCS of 25 square meters and an F-16 clocks in at 5 square meters. The Raptor is so stealthy it practically disappears into radar background noise. This isn't just about fancy shaping, though those angular surfaces are designed to scatter radar waves away from their source like a master magician misdirecting your attention. The real magic is in the materials. We're talking radar-absorbent coatings that convert electromagnetic energy into heat, internal weapons bays that keep missiles hidden until the last second and even a specially coated cockpit canopy that reflects radar instead of letting it penetrate. The F-22 uses what's called a signature assessment system that continuously monitors its own stealth signature and alerts pilots when it's compromised. Imagine a car that could tell you in real time if your paint job was scratched, except the scratch could mean the difference between invisible and dead. The specific radar absorbent materials, their exact composition, Application techniques and maintenance procedures are all top secret. Even the maintenance crews need special security clearances just to touch the plane's skin. Sensor fusion magic. The F-22's sensor fusion capabilities go far beyond what's publicly known. While we know it has advanced radar and infrared sensors, the classified part is how these systems talk to each other and process information. The jet can apparently detect identify, and prioritize threats faster than humanly possible, then present all of this information to the pilot in a way that doesn't cause sensory overload. Recent upgrades include the $270 million Infrared Defensive System, IRDS, that creates a distributed array of passive sensors around the aircraft. This isn't just about seeing heat signatures. It's about creating a 360-degree sphere of awareness that can detect threats the pilot might never see coming. Perhaps the most classified aspect of the F-22 is its electronic warfare capabilities. The jet can apparently jam enemy radars, spoof missiles, and intercept communications while remaining completely passive and undetected. The specific frequencies, techniques, and algorithms used are so classified that some F-22 pilots don't even know the full extent of what their aircraft can do electronically. Here's something that'll blow your mind. The F-22 may have been the first operational aircraft to use quantum radar technology, though this remains unconfirmed and highly classified. If true, this would make it essentially impossible to jam or deceive using conventional electronic warfare techniques. Thrust vectoring, physics-defying maneuvers. Those Pratt and Whitney F-119 engines don't just push the plane forward. They can redirect thrust up and down by 20 degrees. 
This allows the F-22 to perform post-stall maneuvers that would make a UFO jealous. We're talking about an 83,000-pound aircraft that can literally point its nose wherever it wants, regardless of which direction it's actually flying. The export ban. Genius or massive blunder? Now here's where it gets interesting. Some experts argue this export ban was America's biggest strategic mistake in decades. Think about it. While the F-22 gathered dust in American hangars, allies like Japan were forced to develop their own fighters or buy less capable alternatives. China got extra time to develop the J-20, and Russia kept working on the Su-57. But the counter-argument is equally compelling. The F-22's technology is so advanced that sharing it would be like giving your enemy the keys to your house. Congressional research highlighted that protecting U.S. intellectual property in these technologies and denying access by adversaries is a high national security priority. The fear wasn't just about the technology falling into the wrong hands through espionage, though that was certainly a concern especially with Japan, where Chinese intelligence networks were particularly active. It was also about maintaining America's exclusive air superiority advantage in an increasingly multipolar world. Now here's the million dollar question, or should I say $350 million question. Is the F-22 still the undisputed champion of air combat in 2025? The case for hell yes. No other aircraft combines stealth, supercruise, maneuverability, and advanced avionics like the Raptor. Its radar cross-section remains smaller than any operational fighter, including the newer F-35. The thrust vectoring gives it dogfighting capabilities that are simply unmatched. Even today, most of the world's air forces still fly third and fourth generation fighters that the F-22 can dominate. The case for maybe not so much. The F-35, while less agile, has more modern avionics and sensor fusion capabilities. China's J-20 and Russia's Su-57 are finally operational, even if they're not quite at F-22 levels. Low-frequency radars are getting better at detecting stealth aircraft. The F-22 lacks some modern features, like advanced helmet-mounted displays that the F-35 has. But here's what really gets me fired up about this whole situation. The F-22 wasn't just a fighter jet. It was a statement. It was America saying, we're so far ahead that we don't even need to sell our best stuff to make money. That's either the most confident flex in military history or the most expensive mistake ever made. The production line shut down in 2011 after just 187 aircraft were built instead of the planned 750. Each bird ended up costing $350 million when you factor in development costs, more than some countries' entire defense budgets. And now, they're all getting old, with no way to build more. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the F-22's actual combat record. After nearly 20 years of service and $79 billion spent on the program, Guess how many enemy fighter jets this ultimate air superiority machine has shot down? Zero. Zilch. Nada. Not a single enemy aircraft. The F-22's first official air-to-air -air kills finally came in February 2023. And there, well, let's just say they weren't exactly the Su-57s or J-20s it was designed to fight. First, an F-22 used an AIM-9X Sidewinder missile, a weapon that costs about $400,000 to shoot down a Chinese spy balloon the size of three school buses floating at 60,000 feet. A week later, another Raptor bagged an unidentified object over Alaska that was described as being the size of a small car. So the most advanced air superiority fighter in history has a perfect 2-0 record against balloons and UFOs. That's like buying a Formula One car and using it exclusively to run over traffic cones. Why no real combat? Here's the kicker. It's not that the F-22 hasn't seen action. These birds flew 204 sorties over Syria between 2014 and 2015, dropping 270 bombs on ISIS targets. They've also conducted close air support missions in Iraq and Afghanistan 
roles they were never designed for. But every time they've been deployed, the enemy conveniently forgot to bring any advanced fighters to the party. The F-22's most significant contribution might actually be what it didn't have to do. In 2018, during the infamous Wagner Group clash in Syria, F-22s provided air cover, while American forces obliterated Russian mercenaries on the ground. Syrian, Iranian, and Russian aircraft reportedly turned tail and fled when F-22s showed up in the airspace. Sometimes the best fight is the one you don't have to have. But what about the kills we'll never know about? That's not just possible, it's almost certain. The F-22 operates under what's called Special Access Programs, SAPs, and specifically, the darkest category known as Waived Unacknowledged SAPs, programs so classified that their very existence can be denied. These programs have more restrictive reporting requirements and access controls, and are only orally briefed to the so-called Gang of Eight, the chair and ranking members of both the Senate and House Intelligence Committees, plus House and Senate Majority and Minority Leaders. The F-22 program operates under what defense insiders call black money, classified funding that doesn't appear in public budget documents. A National Journal investigation in the 1980s revealed that the Pentagon was spending over $22 billion annually on secret programs, and that figure has only grown. The F-22's operations and maintenance budget alone contains line items that are completely blacked out from public view. The Pentagon learned from the Cold War that sometimes the most effective victories are the ones nobody talks about. Even on platforms like Reddit, defense professionals are asking the right questions. Do we actually know that the F-22 has only two kills? The F-22 is not exported to other countries and is kept pretty secretly. Could this mean that some slash all combat missions are also kept secret? The answer is almost certainly yes. The F-22's most successful missions are probably the ones we'll never hear about, not because they failed, but because they succeeded so completely that acknowledging them would compromise future operations. Here's my take. The F-22's public record of zero fighter kills isn't incompetence. It's compartmentalization. When you're dealing with a weapon system that operates under waived, unacknowledged special access programs, has automatic data destruction systems, and costs more than most countries' entire defense budgets, you don't publicize your successes. The balloon and UFO kills? Those were public, because they had to be. Civilian aircraft were being diverted, and the public was watching. But when an F-22 encounters a Chinese J-20 over the South China Sea or a Russian Su-57 over Syria, and one of them doesn't come home, well, that's the kind of victory that stays buried in the black budget forever. The most successful air superiority fighter in history might just be successful in ways we'll never know about. And honestly, that might be exactly how America wants it. So is the F-22 still the best fighter in the world? depends on what you mean by best. For pure air-to-air -air combat, especially in contested airspace, it's still the king. But the F-35 might be more relevant for modern warfare with its advanced sensors and multi-role capabilities. What's absolutely certain is that the export ban created a fascinating paradox. America built the perfect fighter jet and then made sure nobody else could have it, even their best friends. Whether that was strategic brilliance or strategic blunder, only history will tell. With the F-47 now in production and expected to fly in 2028, the F-22's role is evolving from solo superstar to mentor and bridge aircraft. It's testing technologies for tomorrow while dominating the skies today, assuming anyone's brave enough to challenge it. But one thing's for sure. When you see an F-22 at an airshow pulling maneuvers that seem to violate the laws of physics, remember, that's the fighter jet so advanced they made it illegal to share. What do you think? Was America right to keep the F-22 all to themselves, or did they miss a massive opportunity? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most fascinating military tech.